Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now I've decided that there are quite a lot of new players out there who clearly need some form of basic tutorial. So that's what this is, a basic total beginner's guide to Blitz. So you decided to download a game. Why? Well the game looked kind of cool on the App Store or whatever you downloaded it from because it showed guns and stuff and things being blown up. I mean, who doesn't like that kind of stuff? <laughs> I like it! But what is this game you've downloaded? What is it all about? Well, it's about tanks. No, not this kind of tank, but the metal thingies on tracks that go boom and blow other metal thingies on tracks up. If you're lucky. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. So, forget the game tutorial because, meh, you don't need it apparently, or at least it looks like many new players just totally ignore it. A little bit like that awesome electronic thing you got for Christmas, but you haven't once glanced at the actual user manual. Well, you know, same, same. Fascinating. Let's start with the very, very, very basics. This is a tank. Ta da! They come in a various amount of sizes. Some are small and delicate, some are big and thick, and some, like most, are average size with average abilities. And they all do various things, but that's not important right now. Don't get confused, however. I will show you again. This is a tank. Ta-da! But this is a potato. Now, potatoes also come in various sizes, and they do various things. And in some instances, you can even get fake potatoes. Yeah! So don't be confused. A tank is not a potato. A potato is not a tank. This is very important stuff. And it's critical that you remember this. So, just to recap. Tank, potato. Don't get them confused. In this game, all tanks have a gun. Guns are important. They are very useful for shooting stuff and making them go boom. There are also potato guns, but they're not available in the game, so we'll need to ignore those for the time being. Now, to make things go boom, you need to point the gun. That's the longest thingy that kind of sticks out the front of the tank. At the thing, you want to go boom. You then need to press a button. Yeah, I know it's really complex, but stay with me on this one. The button is on the screen, and it's pretty straightforward. Big round thing, press it, things go boom. Now, and this is really important, if you point the, your long thingy nowhere near the thing you want to go boom, then no boom will happen. That's right, no boom boom. No boom boom. This is bad. You therefore need to learn how to aim your long thingy in order to make boom boom. Kind of makes sense. Once you've mastered the point, the long and straight thingy at the thing you want to penetrate, you can then do boom boom. This will give you ultimate pleasure. Boom boom, long time. Now we've sort of mastered the art of aiming our long thingy, allowing boom boom to happen, we need to look at other things. Yes, of course, there are more complex things to know about how to make boom boom. But this is very basic stuff, and therefore the ability to actually point your thingy in the right direction is really a good start. Now let's move on to more complex stuff, like movement. Tanks have wheels. Yes, they do. No way! Let this confuse you, because whilst the wheels aren't actually touching the ground, only the tracks do that, the tank will still have something that scientists call momentum. Well, we're not scientists. We'll just say the big metal thingy with the long pointy thingy will go forwards, backwards, left and right. That's important. Because movement itself is important. Although many, many, many people totally underrate that it's important and completely forget that the big metal thingy can actually go forwards, backwards, left and right. But why is movement important, I hear you ask? Well, it allows you to get closer to the thing that you want to do boom boom with. That's never a bad thing. I mean, there's nothing worse than trying to do boom boom from across the room. Uh, on second thought, no, not really, no. no. So, movement allows us to hide from unwanted boom boom. 
behind such things as rocks and houses and stuff. But many fail to understand this and they just offer themselves on a plate to those wanting Boom Boom. Some, however, are so scared of being Boom Boomed that they just hide at the back from the very start, hoping the nasty metal thingies on the other side won't find them and thus no Boom Boom. This is not a good thing realistically because they will find you and they will kill you and that will make you sad. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. What have we learned so far? Well, we know potatoes aren't in the game. And we also know how to make boom boom, basically. Boom boom long time. And we know that we can now move our metal thingy to avoid unwanted boom boom. We now need to consider some other basic things. Are you serious? The idea of the game is to either make so much boom boom on the other side that all their metal thingies get so tired and they go home to their garage to rest. Or we go to the flag thingy and we win by conquering the land we are fighting on. Yay! Thing about conquering, however, is that if you do it too quickly, then the other side will make a lot of boom boom on you and you will fail to conquer anything and you'll be resting in the garage. If you conquer too late, then you miss the party, and that's never a good thing. No! No, 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 no! No! No, 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 no! So conquering is like going to a party. If you're too early, then your guests don't like it. If you're too late, well, you'll miss it. So timing is everything. Many new players, however, like to turn up to the party far too soon. And as such, they get evicted quickly, and then they are sad, along with the rest of their mates. Party hard, definitely, just don't party too soon. Nevertheless, there is a game mode in this game called Blitz, that's called Supremacy, that forces you to party very hard, very quickly. The idea here is to get to as many parties as quickly as possible, but not to hang around too long enjoying the view. You go, you may do a bit of boom boom, but then you leave and then you go to another party. And this is a good thing. The more parties you go to, the more chances you got of winning the game. It's that straightforward. Uh, I thought my jokes were bad. So, recapping, we know how to boom boom, sort of. How to move away from unwanted boom boom and how to conquer without being a party pooper. We now need to consider some other little steps. Knowing how to do boom boom doesn't mean you're suddenly very good at it. You're all fingers and thumbs by now, and you need to learn how to control yourself so you become better at it. Doing the boom boom, that is. Of course. This will take time. You may feel that once you've boom boomed a few smaller metal thingies, you can now jump into a much bigger metal thingy and do boom boom like a pro. Well, you can't. When moving to the bigger metal thingies, you will meet others with far more experience than you and they are able to do much better and much more pleasurable boom boom. These others have generally built up their ability to do this over time, perfecting their technique and making them highly effective. So don't be in a rush to get to where the bigger tanks are because you will end up feeling inadequate and your ability to do boom boom will be premature and nobody wants that. Build yourself up slowly Allow your pointy thingy to grow, naturally, and in time, you will do boom boom like a trooper. Remember, all good things come to those who wait. And you didn't disappoint. It's great knowing to do basic boom boom, basic movement and basic conquering, but you need to resist the temptation of rushing in like a fool. Yeah, it's cool to be the first, but being premature may leave you, may leave a little smile on your face, but you will not impress your partner. They will be disappointed with your overly inadequate performance and they won't want to play with you ever again. This is not a good thing. Man's got to know his limitations. This has been my very, very basic guide for those newer players out there. Next time, we will talk about protection from Boom Boom. Why fashionable clothes are important and what type of boom boom you can do, such as hard and fast, total penetration but less impact, 
or just splashing about. What? We may even have a look at different types of metal thingies that allow you to do different types of boom boom. That's all to come. Get to know the basics first. Anyway, I've been Fujit. Boss! I hope you've enjoyed my little basic guide to this game called World of Tanks Blitz. By all means, comment and everything below. And spread the word. Get all the new players you know to understand how to do basic boom boom. And you know what? Everybody will be happy. So until the next time, my friends, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And a happy boom boom. Boom boom long time. That's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.